Hello dear subscribers and viewers of Thesis 5 Basics. I come to you again today with a message. Uh, eight doors for demons to enter into your life. Or open eight doors. If you open them, demons are going to possess you. So today I'm not talking about uh, oppression. Because oppression happens once in a while. It's not something which is like your life is in control. That means the the... The matter of, 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 of oppression means they are just attacking you, but they cannot possess you because the defense has been weakened, so they can attack you. But today I'm talking specifically about possession. When demons take control of your life, you can live with them, and sometimes you may have demons, and you don't even know. And that's why I encourage people that have the custom of going to prayer meetings. Because in those places, you will find a place one day meeting a greater power which will make them uncomfortable in you. You may be in the church, but still having demons. So I just want to, I tell some that I've experienced it, I know it. So that's why I just have to tell you this. Before going to those doors, which you, uh, once uh, they are opened, demons are going to process you. Let us have the word of prayer. Our Heavenly Father, thank you so much for your goodness and mercy and grace that you have been given unto us. So now I welcome your Holy Spirit, Father, to take control of my life now that I may speak the words that comes from you. And let the person who is listening to understand it. I pray in Jesus' name. Amen. So let us go to the first door that is unconverted, unoccupied at uh, heart or life or environment. This is as a lot of things. But we are going to cover them so that you can understand. Unconverted art means if your art is unconverted, means you have uh, demons can enter into your life at any time. That's the basic. That if your art is unconverted, they will enter at any time. T. Okay? A person may spell upon you and all other things. But because your heart is unconverted, they will enter unoccupied art. This was given by Jesus Christ, an example from the book of Luke, chapter 24, verse uh, chapter 11, verse 24, up to 26, when he talked about a person, if he has been left by demons. Let me read this for the sake of those who need to hear. The book of Luke, chapter 11, verse 24. And Jesus Christ spoke this one. When the unclean spirit is gone out of a man, he walked this through dry places, seeking rest, and findeth none, he saith. I will turn unto my house whence I came out. And when he comes, he findeth this swept and garnished. Then goes and he takes to him seven other spirits, more wicked than himself, and they enter in, dwell therein, and last the state of that man is worse than the first. But something I was near to forget, but uh, this verse has reminded me. Why demons possess people? The reason for that. We know we have two worlds here. We have a spiritual world and a physical world. Or spiritual realm and physical realm. And so there are spiritual worlds where the demons are living. They cannot operate in this world because this world was not created for demons. This world was created for people, physical people like us. And so when the demons are here, they, don't, they fear unless because they cannot be seen and other things. So their life is just not easy. So how do they find the rest? That's what Jesus says. And he seeketh the rest and defines none. So he's, when demons is cast out of your life, then he's going to move to find somewhere to rest. Because when he's not in you, he's unrest. So if he needs a person to live so that he can at least feel to live because... This word is a uh, living f uh, the word for fresh. And so they are looking for people to live 
and the dwellings to leave our body. So that's why we need to be careful. That spiritual world, a lot of things, but today I want to explain all of them. I explain a few, like this one. Maybe one day we'll have the start to study about those spiritual world. Your prayers, okay? And uh, an occupied heart, and converted, we can read the book of 1 Samuel, chapter 16, verse 14, when the Spirit of the Lord left, left the soul and the bad spirit, evil spirit, came to dwell in him. So those things happen. Environment, what happens? For example, maybe if a person comes into my house and then I have the Spirit of God, even if he's unconverted, it's difficult for demons to enter. Why? Because the surroundings, the angel, good angels are just monitoring what is happening. Okay, so the person will be safe. But if the environment is not safe, means it's easy even for you to get uh, demons' possession. That's the first step. Let us go to the second one. Okay, the second door that once opened, demons are going to enter into your life, is going to the witch doctor. Whatever you give them, you are giving the spirit uh, yourself. You're giving a position because that's the word of spirit. And so what, what the witch doctor uh, asks from you that, I need this one. If you give me, you are giving them allowance for them to enter to your life. Because what, before they have given, got access to your spirit, to fetch everything and lure everything in your spirit. And so they need something from you. Once you go there, they take maybe chicken, they take money, they take maybe your clothes. So that is has a connection with your spirit. Because you have given them means you have allowed yourself to be accessed. And so they will access you and they take control of your life. That's why we need to avoid with all power to go to witch doctors. And this follows with the number four. But this number th number number three, number two, means even if you are a child, if the mother or the father takes you to those uh, witch doctors, or any spiritual power to heal you or to do something better for you, means uh, he has given you to those kingdom kingdoms. And that is very bad. You are going to suffocate in your life because you have those the follow-up with uh, those spirits because you belong to them. Someone gave you, a cell, gave, uh, gave you to their dominion. So that's why you need to make sure that you have Jesus Christ so that to cut, out, cut off all those trains or strains of demonic activities. Your tools. You may have something and then if that's something you give it to the person and go to the witch doctor, means you are giving yourself the access of the demons. Let me t tell you this one. It happens in most countries where demonic activities and witchcraft is just emphasized. A person comes and then he has to take your clothes. Uh, maybe if a person goes to the witch doctor to, for, so that he can bewitch you, he's asked or she's asked, just find something that belongs to him, either clothes or anything. Sometimes they take the soil, uh, the foot, foot, footnotes, footnotes or what? They just, uh, they just take anything that belongs to you. And that is as access with you. That's why you just said, wherever you are, that's your heart is. So what they, 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 they take from you, uh, they go and use it to access your spirit. So try it your best. If a person wants to go to the witch doctor and say, I want to go, but you don't need to go. Give me just you. Maybe you are clothes. You will not go. It's your clothes which is going. They are getting access to your heart. That's number three. Number four. Environment, where demons are doing their activities. The environment. And the environment, uh, just like churches. Let me say churches? Yes. For example, there are churches where demonic activities are taking control almost 100%. I will tell you an example of this church is like. Churches where prophesying is done. That's prophesying like. Just like doing witchcraft, but like that, that woman of Endo, when so went that witch, uh, that wizard, or witch doctor. And so what happens is uh, those past apostles, they call most of them. They call them because they are doing that. They call themselves like we are prophets because they can see things that 
uh, behind the human eyes and tell you what happened previous years in your life. You have two children, you have maybe this one, and somebody in the office came and do this, and do you see this, do you see this? What happened there? That's the demonic activities. Straight forward. What do they do? Because you have given, they have demons, uh, and descending demons, and those demons, they have access to your spirit, and then they take information from your spirit, from you, they take it to that spiritual world, and then because this apostle or prophet are those descending spirits which are more mighty, and then what happens, they go and he makes the connection with the spiritual world, and those demons can have access to your what? To your spirit, and read all your information from your spirit, and then they bring it to whom? To that, that apostle or prophet. And so what happens is guess is not guessing. He's give is is given information at the time he's speaking to you. They are coming, they are coming, flowing, flowing, flowing. And so he's going to tell you this one, you did this one, you have two children, your husband has been lost five years, you did this, you did this, because you are the spirits have access to your to your spirit. So also what you need to do is you need to avoid these environments. And many people have possessed demons because of the churches. And so environments like that, environment like dancing halls, entertainment to uh, halls, where the, uh, those uh, musicians who are, have connection with the demons, and they may not have connection with demons, but those environments where secular music is played and people are dancing, uh, others are naked, drinking and this, those are environments where demons are welcomed to do their activities because they like it. And so, when you go to such areas, such areas you, are, uh, you are putting yourself in danger of being possessed by demons. Number five is material with connection with the demonic activities like ornaments, mm, ornaments, fake hair, and the pick up things, picking up things, strange things in the, in the Lord. Because when I was doing this, uh, this, that ministry of expelling demons to several people, what I found, not all, some is that they picked something like, like uh, they found flowers and then they took it in the Lord. And from that moment, they are possessed with the demons. Why? Because the, that thing had a connection with the demonic power. And sometimes there are things that a person maybe is bewitched and is told to, to get yourself rid of those things. You have to take all things and, and take it maybe in one thing and then you're going to cast it in a, in a, in a cross-section in the Lord. And what happens when you go there? You, you meet something and then you take it. Because your spirit is not safe, guarded with the Holy Spirit, then you're going to receive all those demons which were in that person who was get rid of them using the witch doctors and the method like that. That's why in Christianity we have to ban all those uh, materials. So avoid ornaments which they are not good for Christians, okay? You will be welcoming them because they say this is, this is our house, we can dwell in. Number six is this one. Number six is fornication, adultery, with a girl or a woman possessed by demons. When you are committing adultery, it means you are opening your spirit to be accessed by demons. You are opening yourself that now I need them to come. Because you cannot sex with the person without opening your heart to him, okay? This is not, this is not raping. This is not raping. You have accessed, you have arranged the time. When you are doing it, it means your heart is open. You have accessed everything, you have accepted everything that that person had, has. Maybe you should the girl or whatever, but by saying, I'm going to sleep with you, putting off your clothes, means you are accepting him, whatever that he has. Even in the spirits, you are welcoming it. So, be careful with that. Sometimes watching porn, pornography welcomes those demons, because they are, when those people are recording, that no. Do you think the whole spirit is there? doing those things. No. There are demons working there. And when you're watching, demons will come so that you can, they can arouse your mind, uh, cause things that are uh, almost maybe secreted and you feel like you're doing it and uh, my friend, you're welcoming those demons in your life. That's why we need to be very careful. Okay? 
We need to be very careful. And something else is choice. Making a choice by welcoming those demons. That's number eight. Choice. There are people say, I'm tired of God. I need demons. You're going to get them. And this, this kind, is, uh, uh, kind of people are those who are going to the, the devil. They want to sell their souls to the devil. That's a choice. They make a choice to welcome them. If you say, I need him, he will come. But never do such thing. They will come and your life will be miserable. Number eight, the last one, is horror movies. Horror movies. When you watch those horror movies, you are preparing yourself to receive demons. Because people who are creating those movies and writing those things, scripts, do you think they are guided by their spirit to do such a thing? So they get ideas, do this. Who gives them those ideas? Demons are not afraid of exposing their world because they know they can deceive you at any moment. So they can give the idea to those uh, writers of, of movie, movie writers. That they write. <laughs> they are with them. They give them ideas. They write. Who is going to supervise? And they know that, that if this movie goes out, all people are going to watch. We need to make sure that we get an access to their spirit. That's why we should avoid those movies. Okay, my friend. I want to encourage you. The only safety is to be possessed by the Holy Spirit. Okay. Is to have the Holy Spirit. Is to be filled with the Holy Spirit. If you have the Holy Spirit inside you, demons cannot enter. Just say it. That verse we are laid up according to the book of Luke. Uh, 11, 24, up to 6. Demons cannot enter into your heart if you have the Holy Spirit. They will not. But they can attack you. And how do you make a difference? Is prayer, studying the word, living under the righteousness of God. They will not attack you, even outside. Why? Because the power surrounding you will be strong more than them. That's why we need to be on prayer. To avoid possessing and oppress it. But we need to accept Jesus Christ as our personal savior. What if I have a friend who is possessed by demons? What to do? Prayer makes a lot. He needs to be delivered by the power of the Holy Spirit. Praying in Jesus' name will save that person. Jesus Christ, not discuss with demons. Do not allow yourself to discuss with them. Tell them, like they are telling you, like, he took our things. Bring it here. He took our this. Don't listen to them. Don't discuss, okay? If you discuss, they're going to pray. You know, I remember, I will tell this story once uh, one time. Uh, when I get a moment to tell it, it's clear because it's long. It is wrong. And so I don't want to use time this moment. These points are enough for you uh, to help to help and prepare yourself that you may not be possessed by demons. And if you find a person with a demon, pray. I have to tell you, pray. Because all things are possible with Jesus Christ. And if you have been attacked by demons or you feel you are possessed, Go to different prayer meetings. It's not better to say, like, I come here of demons. No. Just go to those prayer meetings. And make sure they are teaching the Bible because you may think you're going to be uh, delivered, but you're going to add more. So when prayer meetings where the Bible is taught, people are calm, you know, those fancy and all the things which are demonic-like, just find your praise. Find, find the Seventh-day Adventist church. I can, I, though there are churches, other churches, not all churches are demonic. But I can suggest you find the SDA church. Keep attending there. On the power of God one day, we'll come. And very soon, we'll come and we'll set you free. So other things, can you pray for yourself? Maybe if you have demons, do you all need people? No. You can pray yourself. Take your Bible, start to start the life of Jesus Christ. Keep studying the life of Jesus Christ. Keep praying to need Jesus Christ. As you go on, keep on, keep on. One day, once Jesus Christ will come into your heart, demons are going to leave. That's a simple formula. Not always you have to go to people to pray for you. You can pray for yourself because Jesus Christ is accessible to anybody. 
May God bless you. Let us have the word of prayer. Father, thank you. Welcome. Uh, welcome your Holy Spirit also to keep going with us in the whole this day. I pray if a person has been uh, in a trouble like this of demons, please, Father, help for him or her to be delivered. But if a person is still free now, please help us to protect ourselves in an environment where we cannot be possessed by demons. Father, protect this YouTube channel by your name that demons cannot do anything to break or stop this ministry. Father, thank you because you are going to do all and beyond my imagination and my expectation. In Jesus Christ, I pray. Amen. Have a good day. Remember, subscribe, share, and comment if you have any questions. May God bless you. Amen.